Так, продолжаем проходить диско Элизиум. Сейчас а, четверг. Мы тут решаем побочный квест с этими с тусовщиками. Так, он мне подсказал, а точнее он. А я с ним могу еще поговорить? Он сделал то, что я хотел. Типа, у меня не было времени, у него открылись какие-то, ну там, диалоги возможные с ним. У меня не было времени, поэтому я закончил. Могу ли я продолжить? On one side you see an auxiliary line in with the number 4.5 written next to it. Как тебе церковь? Yeah! Could it be? Maybe for him. You only have a chapter or two left in you. Last of the penultimate, more like. О чем это? Только не говорите мне, что это конец игры. Похоже, тебя терзает сомнение. Что не так с этой музыкой? There's nothing wrong with it. I'm still in love with the hardcore. Sometimes I just feel like anodic music is in its infancy, you know? For example, take this Arno van Eyck jam I've been pumping for the last months and will continue pumping for the rest of 51. Isn't something holding it back from being hyper? It's like it's only ultra. I think it's super hardcore, but you're right. It's not hyper hardcore. If anything, it sounds a bit proto, like it's not fully formed yet. You might be a moribund alcoholic and a failed cop, but you are pretty certain a thing cannot be both proto and hardcore. Это proto hardcore, вообще не hardcore. Wow, culture cop. I think you might be right. But how could it become hardcore then? I know it in my heart, but cannot sink it in my head. If this is not hardcore, how could anything be? Погоди, я только что вспомнил. Я же из полиции. Постараться придумать, что может сделать эту музыку хардкорнее. Подумать еще. Oh, yeah. mm, воображение меня подводит. But there's something else that hasn't failed you. Что? А. Может быть, он мне даст наркотиков? Я не могу вам сейчас помочь. Мне нужно что-то еще, что-то большее. Почему у тебя на пряжке изображены легкие? Что? Как легкие связаны с любовью? Да? Why wouldn't they be? Are the lungs not the place where you hold the breath of your soul? С 
серьезно? Звучит довольно неправдоподобно. Ладно, ладно, я под буду подыгрывать ему, а то вдруг он еще обидится. Что ж, в легких и заключено дыхание души, верно? Так. У меня есть шанс сделать вот это вот. Это белая проверка, так что ничего страшного. Может, твое тело сможет подсказать тебе, чего не хватает миксу Арна Ван Бю, э, Эйка. А Армина Ван Бю, <laughs> Арна Ван Эйка. Что нужно, чтобы сделать его хардкорнее? You know it in your lungs, where the pressure should а точно, басы выкрутить, да и все. Точно. Нужно добавить басов! А еще нужна мелодия. Хорошая мелодия залог того, что песня будет застревать в головах так, что не выковыришь. Я не знаю, думал, ты знаешь. I'm just the party boy. I get the people going and say it's hardcore. <laughs> Хорошо, я займусь этим официально. Хардкором должна заниматься полиция. The young man falls silent with appreciation. He even tries to contain his smile, as if it could hinder. Your investigation. Basically, what you need to find here is a tape with some banging music on it, so that Egghead could use it to remix Fan H's jam. Yeah, maybe that street talker across the pawn shop has got some tapes to sell. That's just an idea. Anyway, that's all yours to figure out, Copman. Copman. Ладно, прощай, hey, come on. Hey, come on, hey, come on. Так. Yes. What is it? Итак, я поговорил с Эйкомоном, он подключил кабель. Теперь вы можете включить звук в своих наушниках. Okay, but think you can ask him to turn the volume down a bit, just in case. Maximum! <laughs> Maximum is the only way! I know, I know it is, but... Could you please turn it down just this instance? Just this one time? Maximum is not the only way, okay? Pump it to the brick! Pump it to the hard master! There's no other way! Glue style! Glue style? Okay. There literally is no other way. The mixing desk is glued to maximum. See? He pumps it to the hard master. It's hopeless. Мне кажется, Эйкомон пытается сказать, что кнопку регулировки громкости заклинила на максимуме. Of course it is. Yeah! Permanent enlightenment! Ray of sound! Never mind then. Let's get on with our project. I'm going to unmute the speakers on account of five. Everyone ready? Egghead pumps his hand up in the air, waiting for the beat to drop. All ready. Ready. I'm ready if you two are detectives. The lieutenant nods stoically. Uh, подождите минутку. What? Блин, возможно, нам не следует этого делать, это слишком опасно. Не, блин, погоди. Я просто могу умереть, у меня, блин, этот, у меня всего лишь... Ладно, ладно, ни в чем, не важно. Давайте сделаем это, я готов. 
five, four, three, two, one. Mute disengaged. No wind outside. No waves. No floorboards creaking. Total, continuous silence. This is unnatural. The woman looks around. In the silence, you see dust move on the floorboards. The driver of the speaker vibrates in the air and then stops. Plasterwork begins to crumble down the walls. In the silence, a low hum starts creeping up your spine. It's a song inside you, not in the speakers, not in the room. A great bass sigh in the basement of your mind. Slowly, it builds until the air around you starts to vibrate. It will devour everything. The floorboards, the glass, the streets and the people. Nothing will remain. Guys, what's going on? It's getting louder! In the basins, the water looks like it's boiling. Hosiana! Mother of Mega! He's peaking. The worst high he's ever been on. Слушайте, а что это за странный стук? The beauty and the beat! The future of dance! Planetary! No, egg! It's the window! aside cautiously his eyes searching for a possible evacuation route the window is going to come down no the roof cracks appear on the stained glass window cracks run up the wooden pillars in the dark come down to us love Below it, all the base grows, like the jaws of a giant compressor gnawing on metal and wood. It does not sound benevolent at all. That's it. I'm using it. Всем без паники. Это же прекрасно. Beautiful car. Beautiful life. Shit. In the mixing desk now, building into a positive feedback loop. This is it. A great roar. The vault of the roof twists above you. Glass shatters somewhere near the door. It's coming down. Hey, come on, it's a mixture. And then it stops. Totally and utterly. As if there never was a sound. Only your ears still ring from the shock. Everybody is staring at Egghead, holding a dangling cable in his hand, a black three-pin connector. Egg. I pulled the plug. It was getting too hardcore. <laughs> you did good, Egg. Most of the place seems to be intact. Fucking hell. Programmer lady, tell me you were recording that. Four years. 
22 people. Millions of reals. All that time, this is what we were up against. Just erased it. Suriswolf isn't gonna believe this. Yeah, but did you record it, though? It was dope. I think we can use it. Yes, Andre. I recorded it. Damn, I, I need to send some letters now. Thank you all for doing this. Eggman, you too. And you, officer. I don't know what we've discovered, but I know what it sounds like now. That's the start. Kim to Slyshal? It was very hard not to. I think you're right. There is something going on here. And you need to be very careful with it. I promise, officer. We will not play it again. Что это было? Я никогда не слышал ничего подобного. It was mathematical information from the anomaly presented as a waveform. That's what it was technically. Theoretically, I have no idea. I've never even heard of anything like this. A voice seems muffled in the silent church. It's your ears adjusting after the exposure. Вы напишите Сулиславу? Yes, our lead designer. And maybe some of the producers too. And some of the writers. If they're sober enough to open a transmission. They need to hear. They need to hear about this. Don't worry, I won't send the recording. Although I doubt they have the speakers to produce the frequency anyway. Что дальше? Вы собираетесь... Stay here. I'm going to stay here with these lunatics. Send letters, maybe meet Sulisvov. Also devise further measurements. I want you to know that's totally chill with us. I don't care, but thank you anyway. Now, I have a theory to come up with. Some kind of preliminary explanation to all this. Or the letter will sound like I've lost my mind. Yes, and we have to get back to stabilizing Martinez. Instead of demolishing it with loud bass noise of unknown origins. Ладно, не буду мешать вам работать. Надо купить эту запись, надо купить еще лекарств что у меня нет запаса лекарств найти рабочее оружие блин где его найти можно еще бы купить было бы неплохо книгу про серость Или это не в книге было, а где, где-то я это видел. По-моему, книга. Так, что у тебя там было-то? Что, погоди, что? The hawthorn tree on Rue de Songe's lane. Bronze-colored ribbons of magnetic tape are caught in its branches, fluttering in the breeze. Ты затрахала природа. Так, распутать ленту. Он 
хороший боярышник. The gnarled hawthorn tree on Rue de Sanges Lane. A wintry breeze blows by, making the magnetic tape flutter. With slow and deliberate motions, pulling, bending and unraveling, you manage to extricate the magnetic tape from the branches. It curls up into a mess inside your pocket. If only you could find a way to respool it, so that you could hear what's on the tape. Maybe Roy from the pawn shop can help you with this. Cock. What's the tape for? Это для Икамона. Я обещал ему добавить хардкора в микс Ванейка. Может, эта пленка поможет? How? It's broken and unspooled. Do you think your new buddy knows how to fix it? Я не знаю, но что-нибудь придумаю. Может, Эйкамон сможет мне что-то подсказать? You could also get it fixed at the pawn shop across the street. We shouldn't waste our time. Good idea. He might have the tools. The tape projector in the pawn shop uses similar tape. Ладно, уйти. Этого раньше не было. Так, блин, пойдем сначала купим лекарство, то я... Боюсь отъехать от какого-нибудь неожиданного, неожиданного чего-либо. Ну. A small cabinet on the wall is filled with various medicine bottles, nasal sprays, and blister packs. They all bear the Saint Baptiste Pharmaceutics logo. Flacon magnia, пожалуйста. Okay, here. I hope Saint Baptiste makes you feel better or something. Еще флакон магния, пожалуйста. Okay, here. I hope Saint Baptiste makes you feel better or something. Ладно, пой... пошли. Hello, hello. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Uh... У тебя есть какие-нибудь... Ладно, потом это. Может, ты знаешь, как это починить? You mean raise poly? Yeah, I do, but... Прекрасно. Поможешь? Пожалуйста, это очень важно. Мне надо эту катушку кое-кому поставить. Без 
полезной, она не бесполезная, Рой. Это может быть настоящий прорыв для нашей местной танцевальной сцены. А? What do you mean? Знаешь что старую церковь на берегу? Yes. What about it? Я помог молодым рейверам устроить там ночной клуб, и они там ставят эти свои странные треки, называют их анодной музыкой. Is it any good? The music, I mean. Нет, в том-то и дело. У них невероятно слабый ритм. Там слушать нечего, басы никакие. Бз-бз-бзы, все. Но эта пленка, с ней получится хардкор. Man, you're really invested in this. Okay, I'll help you out. It's going to take a moment, though. So just sit back and relax. You take some time to look around the store. The play of visuals all around the pawn shop is mesmerizing. Suddenly, Roy turns back to you with a reel of tape in his hand and coughs. Спасибо за помощь. Yeah, my pleasure. I do what I can for true passion projects. Just try not to use this tape for negative photon emissions. Take responsibility. Okay. Магнитофон, который я купил, на нем же можно поставить эту катушку, верно? Of course. It's in working order still, isn't it? Just pick your tape and set it spinning. It all starts with the tape. Окей, okay. а у тебя, кстати, вообще другая тема, но у тебя есть какие-нибудь записи Колда Мама Даква? The cold in my dacqua. Sorry, I would never have guessed that you were that interested in ultrasonic sounds. Or birds for that matter. How interesting. Well, it's been a long while since I've gone hunting for the cold in my dacqua. Once knew a group of young musicians who decided they didn't want to play music anymore and started looking for all kinds of interesting sounds instead. This was before, you know, lost touch with them after all of that. Cool or not, one of them was obsessed with recording the Koldi Mamadakwa, and he was one of those passionate people who know a lot about all kinds of strange things. So he got the rest of us to join in his search. We thought we did. We got together all these recordings of unusual sound patterns, compared them, <laughs> cut them up and combined them into the Symphonia called Imamadakwa. Unfortunately, I don't have any recordings from my old life. None at all. But I do have a tape with some ultrasonic sounds that might be what you're looking for. Do we really have time for this? У нас есть время на все, Ким. Погоди, расследование мы уже мы уже поняли, что это один из тех типов застрелил. Найдем еще орудие убийства и вообще. Все будет норм, так что можем это зоном заниматься. <laughs> да, это совершенно необходимо для моих исследований. This recording comes from down the coast. Wasn't looking to record anything specific. Just left a recording device there one morning. Keep in mind, I have to slow this one down enough to make sounds well over 200 kilohertz audible to the human ear. It will be... strange. As the hum grows louder, modulating but always unnaturally uncomfortably low, like it's coming not from the speakers, but 
also from inside your chest. Breathing is becoming difficult. Not good, not good. You're about to start suffocating. You have to stop this. He nods to you, reassuringly, just as more diverse, higher-pitched sounds, some random, some appearing to form patterns, hit your eardrums. Seabirds, most likely. Gulls and such. Chalky? And skewers. But... That's it. The signal in the noise. The thin whisper. A low range of sounds is easier to handle with a focal point, but still troubling. You are mesmerized by the sounds, but also feel nausea welling up as the motif continues, then begins to recede, dissolving in what must be the sound of water lapping at the bank. You know, now that I've listened to it on these new speakers, it's not the cold de Mamadakwa. Wrong patterns, wrong photons. Probably some insect trying to sing higher than its predators can hear. Still, fascinating, aren't they? Early morning sounds. Ладно. У меня есть другие дела. Так, катушка с магнитной пленкой. А как мне ее послушать? Как мне послушать? Я не могу ничего сделать. It's the ledger you found in the trash. A cabbage of papers hanging from the board, with the permeables drawer inside. It's barely held together by a clip then made complete by the faint smell of urinal cleaner. Arson, petty theft, spousal abuse. Handwritten logs on dozens of investigations date back to January 51. Stamped case files. Commit to paper. These are your last couple of months in Revachon. Precinct 41. Jamrock Quarter. You don't exactly close them. So much as distance yourself from the smelly papers. They're a little further from your nose now. The acidic stench of rotting food is rubbed off on the cellulose. It now forms the base of the experience. 
This base surrounded by a faint air of spoiled meat, the stuff of death itself, and then sprinkled liberally with the citrus zest of toilet cleaner. You know, like the bits they put into public piss bowls, probably called Fermi Discreet, or Axel, or something. At some point in its journey, the ledger has seen the inside of a public toilet. Знаю, знаю. Сильвия уже сказала мне, что я утопила его в унитазе. If you knew it was dunked in the toilet before getting chucked into the trash, why are you sniffing it? <laughs> Может, это мой фетиш? Не задумывался об этом, нос. Был вариант понюхать его, вот я и... So you wanted to get in on the trash toilet stink collab? Find out what happens when those two get funky together? Okay, pal. Yeah, turns out your nose doesn't like self-indulgent literal shit huffing. Kel fucking surprise. Come on, no more. The ledger is going back down, away from your nose now. Without resistance or sound, the two panels move against each other. The compartment is now open. Inside, you see two ticket stubs and a handmade postcard. Что значит убейся нахер ублюдок? Давай попробуем. Убейся нахер ублюдок. The words just crossed your mind somehow. Кому они предназначены? Who do you think? You. Ладно, закроем. It's slightly, ever so slightly, difficult to breathe once you've done so. The drawer is locked. Blue ink drips from the white pages in your hand. Могу я теперь ознакомиться с делом? Yes. At last, you find a way to piece them together using the alphanumeric code on the margin. HDB 41, date of initialization and time of arrival on the scene, followed by the title. For example, HDB 41120117000, the next world mural. Стоп, ГБД, ГДБ-41, разве это не код офицер-участок? Why, yes, your precinct number is 41. А ГДБ? Every last alphanumeric in the files begins with it. And these are your case files. It's safe to say а, HD are your initials. Harrier Dubois, HDB. Moral Nouveau Mira. This one is relatively easy to reconstruct. Overnight on 1202, a graffito, nay, a mural, appears on an eight story tenement overlooking central Jamrock. The building is a sparsely inhabited ghost tower, part of a failed real estate development called Grand Couron. The mural is enormous. Two silhouettes, a man and a woman, are kissing. The text cut into their form reads, True love is possible only in the next world. For new people, it is too late for us. Wreak havoc on the middle class. People call it that thing and that fucking thing. It's visible for miles. In two days, the station's complaints desk gets clogged with requests to remove the bummer. You and your partner are assigned to the case. The graffito crew is easy to track down. Only the bell lectures have the literage of industrial paint to cover the surface. One of the graffito artists is rumored to be rich. They take responsibility for the execution, but not the design. 
The ideologue of the next world Nero, as the crew calls it, remains an unknown. Погоди-ка, я нашел того, кто за этим стоит. The case files do not show you finding the author of the design. Продолжим. The crew agrees to clean up after themselves. However, your partner, JV, is against the removal, citing public support for conservation. This leads to a debate in Precinct 41, which then spreads to the streets of Jamrock, ending in a rare plebiscite organized by you and the rest of Row 3. The 9,000 people subjected to the mural's message, all of Lakeside, Central Jamrock, and Villa Lobos, plus half of the eminent domain, participate in the vote. Although the case begins with what appears to be a lot of rambling on the streets as to how juvenile and stupid the mural is, given a choice between two options. Брать мурал, я с ним не согласен. A staggering 78% of voters choose to keep it. Turns out the opposition were a loud minority. And that love truly is possible in the next world for new people. And it is too late for us. Средний класс ни в чем не виноват. Это просто человеческая природа. Did anyone ask you what you believe in, man with the smelly toilet ledger? What do you want to tackle next, or are we done? Незакрываемое дело. A.K.A. Leslie and Burke. A.K.A. The public indecency drunk and the property damage drunk is a cursed case. It has been passed from unsuspecting officer to unsuspecting officer for 10 years. On January 29, the unsolvable case made its way to you. Why you accepted it, it is unclear. Every officer, and indeed most civilians in general, know it's unsolvable. You were so drunk, you didn't remember what it was when you signed on. That, or you were high. Leslie will always take his pants off when he's drunk. Burke will always trash everything. It's just what they do. It is their nature. You cannot change the nature of a man. And you can't lock them away because public indecency and small-scale property damage are not punishable by incarceration. The only way for Leslie to stop displaying his genitals and for Burke to stop attacking things would be for them to stop drinking alcohol, which in their 40s or 50s it's hard to tell because of their distorted features. Is a medical improbability. You would think that, but you're wrong. Where's the fun in exposing your genitals or breaking stuff in your own home? No, Leslie and Burke are on the corner of Main Street and Perdition, because that's where the action is. Can you keep yourself off the streets? Threatening, fines, dragging them to the station, locking them up in the hell holes they live in, locking them up in the station, hypnotherapy, even trying to get the local gang of Zemyaki to take them out. The Zemyaki gave them ethanol, so Burke and Leslie would expose and rampage even harder. You tried it all, and still the complaints wouldn't stop, as they hadn't stopped for ten years. It's plain to see from the files that you, Satellite Officer JV, and Special Consultant TH, had more important cases to attend to. You uncover cross-reference to several ongoing investigations, each brought to a standstill every time you drive down Main Street. Because there they are, on the corner of Perdition. And what is Leslie doing? Uh, Если он демонстрирует гениталии ему. 
Ведет себя непристойно в общественном месте. Good. You're learning. If the files are to be trusted, that's all there is to it. That and Burke breaking things, and the fact that they're both drunk. But then again, so are you. The case becomes considerably less comic one day, when Burke takes a swing at your ledger. He must have it confused with the property he likes to damage. But the joke's on him. You're drunk out of your mind on potent Pilsner. You slam the hardened plastic board in his face. Then you proceed to beat him unconscious with it. In the process, the ledger sustains damage. The compartment within, reserved for permeable documents, is jammed shut. You stop your assault on the now unconscious Burke to open it but are unable to do so. The officer began to cry, reports Leslie, who, at this point, is tending to Burke. He came at us, and at us. I think he was trying to kill Burko. While trying to kill Burko, you slowly come around. The permeable's compartment is open. You've smashed it open on poor Burko's kneecaps. The good news is, Burke can't walk anymore. can't get out of his apartment, an invalid. With Burke to tend to, Leslie cuts back on the indecent exposure. Maybe he flashes his genitals to Burke, who knows, but both drunks are off the street. The complaints stop. The unsolvable case Покалечил. is solved. Просто. Which is also why the officer responsible narrowly escapes a disciplinary hearing. The end. Do you want to read another one? Yeah, блин. Ну давай, квадратная пуля. It would be very interesting to read about these, wouldn't it? I mean, there seems to be a square-shaped entry wound in the victim's forehead. She's been sitting there for weeks, on her rocking chair, with a square hole in her skull, staring at the wall, her mouth agape. No. That's all you got. From the half hour you spent piecing it together, all you know is... The entry wound was square-shaped. You never found the bullet. And then, another body showed up, also with a square hole in his forehead. Toxicology showed the entry wound was laced with an incredibly potent psychoactive substance called HUV4 nil. No street name. Who knows? Those pages are missing. What next? One day, you may still catch the man with the square gun. Some assholes brought their couch outside and hung out on it. In the middle of the street, on the roof, on the hillside by the motorway. You know, at an unexpected location. They were young, and they thought they looked cool on it. Insufferable dicks. Young people are the worst. So anyway, you got a complaint about the damn sofa, or couch, or whatever it is. They were leaving it out in all these unexpected and whimsical locations. They took it to where they also took photos of themselves on it, and smoked cigarettes, and drank coffee because they felt it's intellectual. Cigarette butts, coffee cups, stupid couch. You had to clean it all up. And you did. So congratulations to you. Case solved. No, you didn't have time for that. These notes show that you have what is called a real goddamn job. You don't have time to be chasing down the couch assholes. You have a real job to do. What next? Murder. Tum 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 at the hookah parlor was a case originally assigned to an officer called Joseph Mills, who is now dead. Of circumstances completely unconnected to murder at the hookah parlor. Погоди, как это случилось? Beaten to death by a throng of Villa Lobos gang members when him and his partner J.M., only initials mentioned, answered a call one night. 
It's a sad story, and it isn't really represented in your case files. Stop stalling and get to the murder at the hookah parlor. Понятно, займемся убийством. Joseph Mills was on this case that he just couldn't solve. Was doing it solo. Said it was a real nutcracker, a real brain twister. Was on it for like a month. The captain got impatient. Shit or get off the pot, Mills. Mills didn't get off the pot. Not yet. He kept at it for a couple of weeks more, racking his brains, running with every theory as outlandish as they seemed. Still couldn't solve the murder at the Uka parlor. Tough case, he said. Toughest he's ever had. Stop, but Joseph Mills был хорошим копом? No, he was awful. Awful sense of humor, too. The worst jokes you've ever heard. Really rapey. Still, he'd been on it for months now. Said it was the final case. Said it was uncrackable. That murderer vanished into thin air. That goddamn hookah parlor was all he talked about. Продолжай. Okay, so the case is handed to you because Mills isn't getting anywhere, and you look into it. Here's the setup. A young man is found dead in a hookah parlor. You know, those places where you go and smoke bubblegum flavored vapor all day. <laughs> А кайф от этого можно словить? No, it's soot and water vapor. It doesn't do anything. Вот дебилизм. Yeah. So anyway, young man in his twenties found with his skull busted open, right on the floor of the hookah parlor, in the middle of the day. No one else is in there. Only client that day. In perfect health too. Some kind of movie producer. No one enters. No one exits. He's just sucking on his watermelon hookah all morning, all noon, like he usually does. He's a regular. No calls, nothing. Just sucking on the hookah until 15.45. Then bam, he's dead on the floor with his skull busted open, blood everywhere. What happened? How can it be? Mills has no idea. Invisible assassin, movie deal gone sour. Girl at the counter did it. Nothing fits. Eerie. Man just dropped dead. So you go to the parlor. You see cushions around the table. Tables low, heavy, really sharp edge. Накурился, встал, потерял сознание, ударился об стол и умер. See, you can't even read the thing without solving it. Yeah, it was that. Turns out hookah does do something. It turns off your brain's oxygen supply, and you don't notice it until you get up to go to the bathroom. Он должно быть серьезно насосался. Yeah, he liked his hookah. Stephen was his name. И что он делал там целых шесть часов? Smoking hookah. Didn't you hear? I don't know. Trying to come up with a movie script, maybe. Anyway, that was murder at the hookah parlor. Joseph Mills wasn't a good detective, and about 30 minutes has passed piecing it together. Next. Not much has changed in the meanwhile. A bunch of sodden papers still sags from the clipboard. Так, я вспомнил, можно попробовать еще раз позвонить Алисе этой, потому что что-то она сказала, позвоните попозже. Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, a pull-out toolbox, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. Взять рацию. This is precinct 57. How may I assist you? Ты что-нибудь узнала о владельце бронированных ботинок? Still no word, I'm afraid, sir. I know it must be frustrating. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? Пока uh, закончил. 57th, over and out. In the cabin, you see a set of steering levers, a radio on a hook, a 
pull out toolbox and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. Завтра я что ли позвонить? Или вечером? Так, я хотел посмотреть в книжном, вроде была книга о серости. Мне надо, мне надо узнать о серости, чтобы помочь с этим. Где это был? Наверху, по-моему. This bookstore is not strictly about crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. There's also a wide range of paranormal literature. Ну четыре реала, в принципе, у меня деньги есть. Денежки водятся, скажем так. Хорошо, я хочу купить книгу лечебные свойства серости. Indeed, something about that book does seem to have spoken to you. Well, I hope it contains what you're looking for. Uh huh. Medicinal purposes of the pearl. The cover of this heavy tome features a number of esoteric symbols. Flipping through the book, you find a number of sections on the general benefits of the pearl. A large pharmacopoeia makes up nearly half of the book. You come across the following explanation. While modern pharmacopoeia are continually updated by so-called experts based on the results of clinical trials, readers will find assembled here the timeless wisdom relied upon by generations of traditional Seolite medicine practitioners, Mesk mystics, and Ilmaran folk doctors. It seems to contain descriptions of the medicinal properties of various ingredients that may be gathered from the pale, as well as instructions for producing a variety of herbal remedies. Есть что-нибудь о восстановлении потерянной памяти? There are a number of Seolite tonics that promise to improve your short-term memory, but nothing that speaks to your condition. А есть что-нибудь о лечении апокалиптического похмелья? There's nothing in here that speaks to hangovers directly. However, while browsing through the various descriptions, you become convinced that you could assemble something from the ingredients listed here. Want to give it a shot? Ладно, книга, посмотрим, на что ты годишься. First, you need to choose a base ingredient. Uh, у меня есть что-то вообще из этого? Корень имбиря. Next, you need to combine the base ingredient with an appropriate vehicle. Смешать с глотком виски. Lastly, is there anything else you'd like to add? Понятия не имею. Ложку сахара. You've created a delicious tincture of whiskey and ginger. According to the pharmacopoeia, it should increase your energy and focus, though, in your experience, it's only done the opposite. <laughs> if only you could find one of these right now and drink the shit out of it. The book said it's good for you, so it would be okay. Would you like to try again? Very well. First, choose a base ingredient. Next. You need to combine the base ingredient with an appropriate vehicle. Размолоть мяту можно размолоть. Мяту можно заварить. Заварить в чае из березовой коры. Lastly, is there anything else you'd like to add? Корень дикого женщины. You've created a delicious tincture of whiskey and ginger. 
According to the pharmacopoeia, it should increase your energy focus, though, in your experience, it's only done the opposite. If only you could find one of these right now and drink the shit out of it. The book said it's good for you, so it would be okay. Would you like to try again? Ну, давай. Very well. First, choose a base ingredient. Василисник желтый. Next, you need to combine the base ingredient with an appropriate vehicle. Что такое василисник? Я понятия не имею. Давай размолоть и смешать с экстрактом алоэ вера. Lastly, is there anything else you'd like to add? Несколько зерен граната. You've created a delicious tincture of whiskey and ginger. В смысле? Не применял имбирь и виски. Focus, right Почему он приходит? Ну, что бы я не выбрал, okay. говорит, что виски и имбирь. Главное, в первый раз я выбрал именно виски и имбирь. И это была логичная его версия. А тут я выбираю всем другие варианты без виски и без имбиря. А мне говорят такой же вариант, такую же реплику про настойку из имбиря и виски. Ладно, like Ладно это все полная чушь. You close the book and find yourself staring at the familiar cover once more. Открыть книгу. Flipping through the book, you find a number of sections on the general benefits of the pill. A large pharmacopoeia makes up nearly half of the book. Думаю, я просто хочу найти какие-нибудь общие рекомендации. Have you taken any walks through the pill recently? Я даже не знаю, что это за серость такая. Как я могу по ней гулять? The book is frustratingly vague on this topic. But it seems that if you've walked through the pearl, you would know it. Hmm. I'll еще раз попробовать приготовить. Very well. First, choose a base ingredient. Next, you need to combine the base ingredient with an appropriate vehicle. Lastly, is there anything else you'd like to add? You've created a delicious tincture of whiskey and ginger. According to the pharmacopoeia, it should increase your energy and focus, though in your experience, it's only done the opposite. If only you could find one of these right now and drink the shit out of it. The book said it's good for you, so it would be okay. Would you like to try again? Mm. Very well. First, choose a base ingredient. Next, you need to combine the base ingredient with an appropriate vehicle. Lastly, is there anything else you'd like to add? You've created a delicious tincture of whiskey and ginger. According to the pharmacopoeia, it should increase your energy and focus, though, in your experience, it's only done the opposite. If only you could find one of these right now and drink the shit out of it. The book said it's good for you, so it would be okay. Would you like to try again? Нет. You close the book and find yourself staring at the familiar cover once more. Ладно, положим обратно. Что-то я ничего не это, ничего особенного не почерпнул из этой книги. Again, esteemed officer, and welcome to crime, romance, and biographies of famous people. Ладно, счастливо оставаться. Уже девятнадцать десять, пока я читал книгу, уже столько времени пролетело. 
Давай попробуем еще раз позвонить. Последний раз на сегодня. Если что, тогда уже в следующий день. Пол-аут тулбокс и светло-глоу от фьюл-прихита Взять рацию. Ты что-нибудь узнала о владельце бронированных ботинок? Пока нет. In the cabin, you see a set of steering levers, a radio on a hook, a pull-out toolbox, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. Закрыть дверцу. Так. Что я вообще могу сделать, интересно? Следы. Где следы эти были? Самарийское масло. Антита Хардия. Беспорядочные полевые отверстия. Где я уже не помню, где это было? Плащ полицейского. Плащ я уже давно взял, блин. И там голова, голова меры уже давно закончился этим. Они пропадали бы хоть. А чё с прачкой? Надо просто внушить ее. У меня нет квеста какого-то, который бы мог это... Мне надо просто внушение прокачивать. Внушение у меня, конечно, да. Такое себе. Что я могу сделать вообще? Что какие у меня еще квесты есть? Купить треники у Куна. Особый борщ, понятия не имею. Как поставить подписи? Это нужно убедить эту женщину. Потайные коридоры. Не знаю как, где найти это. Тоже не знаю. Найдите спиды. Но, видимо, с этими типами надо помочь им до конца, и тогда они дадут спидов, хз. Или уже не дадут. Поднимите свой авторитет в глазах Тита Харди. Перезвоните Алисе, спросите, что могут значить татуировки, у кого. Найдите элементы брони, найдите орудие убийства. Добавьте хардкор. Ну пошли, ладно. Пока у меня идет по квесту, тому пошли и дальше по нему. Про эту музыку. Харбас. У него разве была какая-то музыка у этого типа, кстати говоря? Shine on these sunglasses lasts a lifetime, officer. One hundred percent guarantee. Очки, козырек. The speakers below are banged up and worthless. The sneakers triumph over them. They're the star of the show here. You keep coming back. That's good, officer. Keep browsing those clothes. Keep saving that economy. Петровка. Покаути. Нет, у меня записи нет. Видимо, это все-таки записи вот та, которую я нашел. Что за пулевые отверстия? Я что-то не помню, где они были-то. Тут 
Ничего нет, по-моему. Этот день пролетел очень быстро. Я имею в виду игровой день, четверг. Потому что очень много диалогов было. The scruffy-haired little boy kicks a stone. He can't be more than five years old. The other one looks indistinguishable from him. He watches his brother kick the stone with his tongue lolling out of his mouth. This one doesn't say anything, kicking the concrete with his worn-out sneaker. Lilia, Mom. Это я и сказал. The stone kicker laughs suddenly. His head is too large for his shoulders. The other one laughs as well. Wow, so intellectually stimulating. А крошка Лили это ваша сестра? Yes. Да? Yes. И все? Какой лаконичный ответ? It doesn't look like he knows what that means. <laughs> Вас, ребята, друг от друга не отличить. The stone kicking one becomes frantic all of a sudden, as if that's something to be scared of. The obvious fact that you just stated. He looks just like me. Да, это я и сказал. The boy doesn't answer. His brother throws another rock. Both of their hair is covered in some kind of dirt. You're bad with kids. А у тебя что, есть медаль «Лучший друг детей»? Maybe I am. Now, how about some actual police work? We are not getting anything here. Пока, детишки, не балуйтесь. Не знаю, если бы я сказал, дети тупые, они могли бы услышать и нажаловаться маме. И у меня бы с ней не сложились отношения. Зачем мне это надо? The noxious odor emanating from the drunken man is strong and familiar. Don't you call her? Yeah! Don't you call Abigail! Кто такая Абигейл? Ага. Абигейл. Don't you fucking call Abigail. Never thought you'd see such a thing in your life, but this guy's a little too drunk. Ты кто? Как зовут? Don't call Abigail. Где я? Что это за место? The man hiccups, then mumbles something Логично, unintelligible. Что он может сказать? Почему я не должен звонить Абигейл? He snorts and beckons you to lean in closer. Okay. Don't call Abigail. Don't call Abigail. Эй, я веду важное расследование. Ты обязан отвечать на мои вопросы. There's no use in yelling at drums. He's barely holding it together. The drunk man starts coughing a really disgusting, hacking cough. Расскажи мне о своих друзьях. Don't you fucking call her! Hear me! Abigail! Don't! Don't! Don't call! There was little chance he'd be a reliable witness anyway. Hey, tequila! Good to see you. How's business? How's the whole reality situation treating you? So what's happening? Yeah. 
Tequila Sunset. How are the um, high concept reality based adventures proceeding? Uh. Взяла так себе. Черная полоса длиной в 50 лет. That's harsh. I'm like three or maybe four years into mine. Wait, no. Make it five. Things aren't going super well for idiot Doom Spiral either. Haven't found those keys yet. Haven't won that great piece of ass back. No word from my business buddies. Uh... Что это вы тут делаете? We are saving the world. Please! Please don't call! Don't call! Okay, we're drinking. We're drinking alcohol. That's what we're doing. I tried to save the world once, a long time ago, with enterprise, creativity, and willpower. But that didn't work out. So now it's a pirate's life for me. Что за текила сансет? О чем ты? It's you, your tequila sunset. С чего ты взял? We've met before. Don't you remember? Нет. Ага. Do you want to know how tequila sunset came to be? Давай. Mm -hmm. Let me take a sip to moisten up my cords. Tequila Sunset rolled into Martinez last Friday. And by Tequila Sunset, I mean you. The man, the myth. Погоди, мы встретились в пятницу? Hey, let's not jump ahead of ourselves. This is your story. Stop interrupting. You got here on Friday to solve a case. Hoping to be the early bird who gets the worm. And by the worm, I mean the buzz. Because as far as I know, all you did was get pissed drunk. Word on the street is you went around the local hostel telling people that you're a police officer. And that it would be really fucked up if you shot yourself in the head right in front of them. That's pretty high concept if you ask me. Oh yeah, that's totally your style. The lieutenant's brow is furrowed. He's listening as casually as he can. Uh, it was a late Saturday night when we, the Union of Marabund Alcoholics, were getting our drink on. Nothing remarkable about this. We get our drink on 24-7. Makes everything warm and glowy. I trust you know the feeling. One moment we hear the sound of a motor carriage revving up somewhere on the plaza, followed by a series of dings and bangs. Do you remember the sound of wood cracking? The billboard? Naturally, loud noises pique the interest of anybody owning a pair of ears. That's just the reality we're in. Anyway, there was a brief silence. A gasp of silence, if you will, followed by a real commotion. We heard the carriage careening towards the coast at top speed. Sounded like someone jumped the canal. We grabbed our brewskis and rushed to the jetty. Never underestimate the speed of an alcoholic. What we saw was a sight to behold. A beat-up police carriage containing you, right there on the beach. You revved the engine and screamed at the top of your lungs. The time hath come! So, naturally, being the curious cat I am, I asked what time hath come. To which you replied, The time hath come for Tequila Sunset! 
the end of all things. Ничего не говорить. After which your reality contracted. You jammed the pedal, plowed right off the jetty, and through the ice. We ran towards the ice whilst you crawled your way out, miraculously unhurt, covered in seaweed and shit, like some kind of sea monster. When we finally got there, you were sitting on the beach crying. You said that your badge and uniform were in the car. It was too late to get in there, though. The carriage had sunk too deep. Recognizing a brother in need, we offered our condolences and invited you to party with us, which you naturally agreed to. What else was there to do? Thank you, brothers, for your help in hand. We asked about the whole tequila sunset thing, and you told us it was your name now, and insisted that we all call you that from then on. Погодите, так Текила Сансет это событие или имя? I'm not sure. I think you were the event. Tequila Sunset. You know, as opposed to a Tequila Sunrise, which is long gone. Tequila Sunset, значит. Звучит неплохо. Yeah, I agree. И как долго мы зажигали? Hours. It was an all-night drinkathon. Then, at some point, I think it was Sunday morning, you got belligerent and wanted to talk about Revacholian women. How they're beautiful and also whores and so on. How one of them fucked you real bad. After a short while, you crossed the event horizon, looked sullen, got up and left without saying anything. Wow, that's quite a story. Yeah, I bet Tequila's a fucking legend around the precinct. You must be proud to work with him. If you only knew. Я рассказывал что-нибудь конкретное о той особе, которая меня раздавила. You were pretty vague about it, but you kept saying you got fucked real hard. And that we've all been fucked too. No one's fucked me. I do the fucking around here. Abigail. It seemed pretty painful, to be honest with you. If I had to guess, I'd say you're still working through some shit. Я упомянул еще какую-нибудь потерю. Beside your gun and your badge. You said something about your hope or heart or something. To be honest, the details are a little hazy. In retrospect, I guess you lost your motor carriage too. That's a big one. I говорил что-нибудь про своих коллег. You told us that they were a bunch of fucking losers whose main interest was cramping your style. No specifics though. It was more about you that night. You were the star of the show. I говорил что-нибудь о расследовании. Yeah, you said it was no biggie and that you'd solve it in no time. <laughs> and that you didn't need anyone to do it. You're doing it solo now. A lot of cops go solo and hermit once they reach that level of alcoholism. А мы обсуждали политику? Yeah, you said that you'd really behaved unreasonably and failed to uphold your responsibilities as a representative of the coalition. Смогли вы понять, что я за коп? You kept calling yourself a goddamn superstar who'd cleared 501 cases. As you've already determined, the actual number is just over 200. But what's a little embellishment between friends? No thanks to the squares at the precinct, as you put it. It's a hard thing for a man to confront his past. That's why I avoid mine at all costs. Uh, 
Ладно. Увидимся. You too, tequila sunset. Так. Ладно. Мы можно еще с этим типом поговорить. Вот. Но вообще я мне надо заканчивать на сегодня. Вот. Ну мы так продвигаемся, скажем так, пока что по побочным квестам. Продвигаясь по побочным квестам, зарабатываем очки навыков, которые нам пригодятся для прокачки, чтобы нам использовать опять-таки их в, уже в основных квестах. То есть все полезно. Ну и в принципе интересно. Пока что мне не надоело, пока что интересно проходить то, что проходится. Всякие истории, пусть и побочные. Жалко, что здесь ограниченное количество ячеек, а у меня есть еще один этот, еще одна мысль, которую можно развить. Вот. В общем, продолжим, надеюсь, в скором времени, может быть, даже завтра. Сегодня на этом все. Пока.